Hey, it's Kyle. I'm Chris. It is Monday afternoon, September 20th, 5.18 p.m. First Copenhagen, and we've got our passports out, vaccine card. Watch a lot of TikTok, and there's a secret button. Home sweet home. We made it. We're in Germany. Little jet lagged. I got really cocky on the plane saying I wasn't gonna be tired and I'm pretty tired, but we made it and uh, we're less than 24 hours from race day. All right, we're at lunch with the Saucony team day before just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> we're on our way back to the hotel after having our like pre-production meeting. Feeling good about tomorrow. We were going over some of the pacing assignments, some of the logistics of how many cameras we're going to have. Um, this one will have a little bit of a different feel than our previous uh, ones, but I'm, I'm excited for it. So, we're well napped now. Chris forgot to bring running apparel and shorts and... Except for my shoes. I brought my shoes. I didn't bring shorts or a t-shirt. I was just so concerned with packing the shoes that I completely forgot. Or did it, was it on purpose? No. I think so. So I'm going to go around 30 minutes and Chris is going to go for a nice long walk. Okay, a nice long walk. Later. So something that I didn't realize was that I'm apparently running in the community race tomorrow. I'm exhausted, obviously. But I also did a workout before getting on a flight here. So the goal is to just lap Chris once tomorrow and I'll be happy. We made it. We made it. Tune in tomorrow. This will be already in the vlog. The first beer guy. Hey Parker, what uh, new Gatorade product is that that you're using to hydrate before the race tomorrow? Here? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a special German Gatorade. <laughs> we are out right now exploring the streets of Essen. It is just past 10 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we're just fighting off our jet lag. Having a couple beers, hitting the next beer garth. Getting ready for the race tomorrow. Liquid carbs. Talking about the race. How you doing? Which am I supposed to use? Let's go with this one? German is Salt just... Verein. No, 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 no. Salt. Just listen, Salt. just listen. Solfein. Solfein. No, but it's... it's... <laughs> no, then it's... You're saying... <laughs> we need to... With your tongue? Yeah. You have, to, you have to get your tongue behind your teeth. Yeah. Like it's... Solfein. No. No, no. that's solfein. Not like a TH. No. <laughs> solfein. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that's it? That was better. Okay. about there being like almost two lists like so there's different world records now that have got all these Det är i den löpa kändisar och jag har fångat en riktig stjärna. Jared Ward från Utah. Hi Jared, welcome to the podcast Being Snake. We're really happy to uh... Yeah. <laughs> This is a tough time to do a photo shoot right before your race. In the sun. Don't look down, Chris. I'm afraid of heights. We're coming at you live from Essen, Germany at the Zolfein World Heritage Site. It's a really old coal mine. We're doing eight laps of it tonight for the Saucony Fast Future 10K. Fantastic location for our Fast Future Festival. For the vlog? For the vlog. All right, we're here. We're a couple hours away from the start of the Fast Future 10K. Look at this. This is legit. We got our own little tent where we'll be calling the race from. There's the finish. Kyle? Yes. There you go. Oh, First. my bib. Oh, man. Oh, they spelled my name wrong. 
Nah. <laughs> this makes it official. We're gonna be testing out the cores before the pros do. Kyle's gonna try and lap me twice. So we'll see if I can avoid that from happening. This is where we're gonna be. I think there's gonna be a table that's coming in. Oh, it's us. Oh, look, there we are. Camera over here. So we'll be on screen for a little bit. These are huge monitors, so we're not gonna be able to miss a single thing. The DJ did just tell everyone to watch on YouTube Worldwide and that Chris and Kyle know everything. Everything about our runners and we're going to do our best. Nope. Everyone knows I do my research. You've seen like a 30 page packet to put together, so we're ready. You go we're off brain. the brain, I go off the heart. Yeah, off the experience. Alright, our light guy, Wave Light Technology. How are we feeling about today? It's a big day for you. Today is going to be an experiment, but I think uh, everything will going to be beautiful. Coming out of retirement. Former DMR world record holder, 352 miler, Kyle Merber. <laughs> what, tell us, what is with these shorts? <laughs> they said you didn't qualify for the fast section and they wanted to let me know it. Sorry, I don't think, I hate them. Cool off. We're getting a little warm up in right before we run the community race. Uh, I've got two weeks until the Chicago Marathon, and I'm running marathon pace right now. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing? So we're a little tired because we just ran the community race, just showered, getting our bearings in the little city smack tent that we've got here. But feeling good, we did our research, we're prepared, we're always going to bring our A game. Something Chris failed to mention is that I just won the community race. Congrats. First first race win for you in like years. Years. It's been a long time coming. I am not back. I'm not back. I'm hard. It was a big time sitting kid. And for the people who are wondering whether Kyle would laugh me twice, I got away. I wonder sure, by how close. I was 30, uh, no, I was uh, 4202. I was 33. I was coming. Was two, two, I, wow. I, I was looking back at the last yeah. round. I was <laughs> going after. What about, what about your partner, Chris, over there? <laughs> yeah, I think Chris is still out on the course somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's filming you right now. And they are underway here in Essen, Germany. For those of you at home, keeping an eye on those lights. Again, green is set for 33.30. You'll see them get going here in just a second. And Grayson Murphy... As, as requested, it was gonna be up towards the front as they head off. With the lasers in the background, this is a party. It's gonna be a nice celebration. She runs through the start line, the finish line well in sight. Is she gonna be able to dip under 33 minutes? And yes. This is a much bigger pack than we saw in the women's race as we've got six guys all coming through that second lap in 7.15. Jared Ward. Saucony's own sporting the Endorphin Pro Plus here in Essen, Germany. We're at the Zeifen World Heritage Site. He's got sub up 29 on his mind. Here comes Jared Ward. He cheered on by the good people of Saucony as he breaks the tape. 2859. It's gonna be so obviously we're here celebrating the Endorphin Pro Plus release that's coming September 28th. How did the shoes feel? Dude, they're fast. You know, I'll be wearing this shoe in New York for sure. And um, you know, just so proud to be a part of a brand with an innovation team like this. It's awesome. Here's our camera crew. Thanks guys, made it easy for us. Stream looked great. Welcome. Made the job easy for us. <laughs> hey! Uh, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Let's win. Show me this. A check on a champagne bottle. It was fun, yeah. Um, the lights are cool. It's really fun to run at dark with all the lights like that, yeah. Was it cool, like, coming through everyone from Saucony cheering yeah. you on? Yeah, I felt like the laps kept going and everyone had more drinks and it was just more fun every lap. Now what? Beer garden or? Uh, you got some champagne garden. left? What do you say after this? We hit another beer garden? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, how'd the race go? Oh, it didn't go well at all, man. <laughs> Anyways, I sucked donkey balls. It was pretty awful. I'm really happy with the event itself. It was it was a fun course. I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. I wish I did better. My younger brother Otto obviously got the world record, which I'm I'm really proud of him. But I wish I did better. I, I don't know what to say. So wait, you said you weren't going to put on the 
Endorphin Pro Plus until the race. Yeah. So what were your impressions of the shoe? Oh, you're not gonna fault the shoe for my sucky performance today. <laughs> The shoe was great, obviously. The shoe was great. I was bad. Just happy to be here. It's a, it's a, it's a fun night. All right. I wish I did better, but what can I say? I'm happy for my brother. And the shoe is great. <laughs> the shoe is freaking awesome. It's 1 a.m. We're back at the hotel. <laughs> what a day. Wow. What, a, what a trip. What a trip. Lots of people tuned in. We had a good time. That was a hit. Mission accomplished. This guy's here now. <laughs> uh, thank you to Saucony for having us out and being part of this awesome event. It was really cool. Endorphin Pro Plus, coming soon. <laughs>